Yes guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We really hope you enjoyed my full spec fitting. Yes, I'm very jealous and cannot wait for them to come so you can let me hit them. And thank you for all the nice comments. You've not hit them. <laughs> so dreaming. I realise what you just said. I know, yeah. So today, we're looking at my irons that I use right now. And well, by the title of this video, we reckon everybody should consider one length story. I know I've gone away from it, so I'm not the best advocate of this, but, but, for average club golfers. Exactly, that's what we're gonna say. For average club golfers, this could seriously, seriously help your game. These are five points to consider. Okay, mate, so let's start off by looking at these here. So I want you to grab a seven iron. I want you to also grab your old pitching wedge yep. and your old five iron. Yeah, so. Bear in mind, every club's the same length as a seven iron here, so we don't need to grab all mine. So, you only, mate, you only need three clubs, yeah, this, okay. <laughs> so, with every club being the same length, as you can see here, the vast difference between these. So obviously this is my pitching wedge, Alex is 7 so all his clubs are this length, and then my 5-iron. Look at the difference between that 5-iron. That is ridiculous. <laughs> so, the first point, and I think this is vitally important, is how easy it's going to be when setting up to the golf ball. Yeah, because how many times do we feel Oh, setup doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. Yeah, Can't. exactly. Whereas if you have the same club, same length, everything's the same, you just need to get it right once. So first point, setup's the same every time. Yep. You see this, tick, as a Brucey bonus. Well gone then, mate. I want you to go. Five iron here. Five iron. Five iron. Pressure's on here. Can't find it. Can't find it. Oh. Oh my god, that's pure. Huh. Sounds like your fake one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was pure. I hit that really well. And this is the thing that we're trying to get out, guys. Same length, those longer clubs become easier to hit. So point number two we're gonna be looking at here is actually if you're a golfer, right? Think about it this way, right? If you're a golfer who struggles with distance, well what does in the shorter irons help us? Okay, so if we've got our pitching wedge here, our 9-iron, our 8-iron, which many of us would consider our scoring clubs, if they were a little bit longer, this would actually help us hit it a little bit further. So we get into those scoring clubs, 150 in, we're no longer probably hitting, say, a 7-iron from 140, we might be, be able to hit more of an 8-iron, because a longer shaft in the shorter irons will help us create a little bit more club head speed and therefore a little bit more distance. Now, we will get into a pitfall of this a little bit later. Okay, mate, so I think we can ask everybody a question right now. Yep. What, how far does your eight iron go? Your eight iron. Mm, one fifty. No, not you, mate. Oh. Them. How far does your eight iron go? You don't know what mine goes. Not you, mate. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. That's so selfish, wasn't it? That's so selfish of it. So yeah, how far does your eight iron go? Well no, actually, how far does your eight iron go? My eight iron goes between 150 and 160. Ooh, big boy! Think of a gym, haven't I? So... Can't at the moment. So, pitching wedge. And this is a really important point from a club golfer perspective because you really, if you're going to go one length, you need to know how far you're going to hit each one because it's going to be different to your standard length clubs. Yeah. You need it to. Be. It will be. You might find your. Well, anyway. You need to re, you need to re gap them, yeah, don't I you? I think you do that with any set of clubs, don't we? Yes. Okay, hit the square, mate, and we'll move into point number three. How'd that feel? All right, yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> so I want to actually, we, are, we were trying to go, we're going five points here. Yep. Number three, we're going to go. Put that club down the ground. Which way? Well, just, just on the floor? <laughs> I don't know what you want to do. Would you hold the club? <laughs> you drop that on me. Right, he's got a right run into there, hasn't he? Come on, what's next? Drop that on me. No, I mean, you keep it in your hand. You said put it down the ground. Oh my God. <laughs> you said put it down the ground and put it down. I was going to pass you this. Right, okay. Okay, so grab your pitching wedge, and that is pitching wedge as well, isn't it? Yep. Put them down the ground behind the ball, both of them. This is where I see one of the first pitfalls, and this is something that I actually have got used to. Where does it feel like that club is pointing? Your club? Yeah. 
a little bit left. A little bit left. Now, for some people, this could be seen as a positive and a negative. If yes. you're a slicer and a person who misses it to the right, it might straighten good you, for you out a little bit. Exactly. But for a better player, you may feel that you're stood over this ball with the shorter clubs and it may feel like it goes or aims a little bit further left. Yes, however, saying that, like I said, this could be a good or bad thing. When I hit that shot, I didn't pull it left. I didn't, so if you get used to them, because I've hit these yeah, before. I, I found a way of exactly it out, but I do feel if I'm not on it, I will hit it a little bit left. Yeah, but I think from a... From a look at the difference. Again. Yeah, it's just ridiculous that. But for someone, I don't hit them that often. I don't play with these. I've played with them before, don't get me wrong. But of course, he hasn't. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> if you get used to them, it's definitely, definitely, definitely something that I would advise going and looking at. 100%. Okay, so two five irons in my hand. Now, this is where I think we can get another advantage. We have a five iron in our hand, or a four iron, or whatever our longest iron in, in, is in our bag. And smash those comments. What is your longest iron? What's your longest iron? Actually, I'm asking you. Guys. I have a four. <laughs> I'm actually I'm, I'm yeah. asking you. I have a four iron, but it's not actually from that set. Okay, so he, he has a four iron. Now, when we most of us look down at a four iron, we think, oh, geez, this thing feels long. It feels hard to find a centered hit. It looks intimidating, right? Now, five iron, five iron. I've got the same ball position as my seven iron. I've got the same length club. So therefore, it might be easier, logically, for me to find the middle more often. So if I can find the middle more often, I might actually start hitting these longer clubs a little bit further because of it. Most of us catch our long irons a little bit thin, a little bit clunky. Whereas if you can find the middle a little bit more often, because they are the same length, it's definitely something to consider. So longer irons are better because it's the same swing and you might find the middle more often. But but there might be a pitfall. So the fifth and final point is, if you're going to look at one length, make sure you go and get fitted for a number of reasons. Number one, the length. So for me, I'm a little bit taller than Alex, let's say. So my clubs may be a slightly longer, but they'll all be that same length. Yeah, so Josh's seven iron length is longer than my seven yes. iron length. So his seven iron will be longer than my seven iron. His five iron will be longer than my five iron, but all the same length. Yes, same with the pitch notes, et cetera, et cetera. It? it did, but I think everyone will understand it. Point number two, the head. Hang on, this is all point number five, just to make that clear. Okay, yeah. <laughs> point number <laughs> five, point two. Yeah. <laughs> point number five, point two is make sure when getting fitted, you are getting the right head. And this is obviously something that like the likes of Andy at Cobra will go through with you because with them being shorter, club head speed, for those with a lower club head speed, you're gonna to struggle to get that speed up there. So, there's clubs such as the new Forge Tex. Hollow head. Hollow head, they fly. Rocket ship, basically. Absolute rocket ship, and that, that's what will help you, okay? Having the right head with the right length shaft, these are a game changer. Lovely strike, sir. Okay. Okay, final point, mate. If people are going getting fitted, no yes. matter where they're going, yes. make sure you do this. And hopefully, if they're a good Cobra fitter, They'll do this anyway, but you need to try five iron, seven iron, pitching wedge, get a good range of those clubs, find where your, your sweet spot is with the length, the right head, and you're winning. So there you go, five points, well five with five A, five B, five C, <laughs> five, <three. laughs> five points. About. But we're, we're not saying you should go and buy them, we're saying if you're not someone that plays a lot of golf, then it's something you should definitely consider. Yes, it will give you consistency in your setup, it will give you consistency in your swing, and it's an all round good solution. It's clarity, isn't it? It is, it is. Kind of really wank, isn't it? In it! <laughs> in it, <laughs> really wank. But I think that wraps us up for today. Uh, 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 wraps us up for today. Up today. But guys, we've seen loads of comments saying, guys, don't know how you haven't got more subs. Well, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel. I looked at this the other day. 80% of people watching, talking to you, aren't subscribed. What are you doing? Do us a favor, <laughs> please. We're begging now. Please. <laughs> <laughs> but all seriousness, please subscribe to the channel and also check out our pod. All the link to that stuff is down below in the description. Fire it over there now. See you next week.